Eid. Yes. And uh, my husband is you Creed. <coughs> Where he came to he born in Portland. Came to Jamaica, came to Kingston as a young chap. Young joined the police force and on my way going to the sewing, that is where I met Duke on the way going to sewing. We then became friends and from then and there we are together. Duke is a very nice man from in the police force. He was in the force for 10 years. I opened a business by 81 Beeston Street on Charles Street. The name of the business was Pink Grocery. And uh, carrying on and the business improved, my husband decided to resigned from the force to assist me. He was such a nice man. Everybody liked him from in the force. When he decided to get a little sound and play it outside the shop on the spares, and you'd find everybody love the tunes that he play. In those days it was blues, rock and roll and um, blues, I think. And he generally go up to the States and bring down tune that is very unusual. And everybody loved the tune, you see, that he play. You find that a boy named Pam Pam he always come by the shop and dance for the crowd. So they like to hear Duke's song. Everybody said, Dwayne Duke decided to play out because they have very nice tunes. And the first place that he played was a lawn up by Drummond Street. And everybody shout and shout and said, Well, Duke, you have to go for it now. One second. And sorry, sorry. Everybody shocked, and so you have to go for it. No, I just want to fix this wire. Yes. Right, so everybody shocked, and so you have to go for it. No. Yes, you have to go for it. Now, in those days, my husband used to go up regular to the States to buy the tunes. And everybody liked the tune with him, sell some to the sound system. Means and uh, at those days, plenty of people always flock the shop to hear him sound. Then we decided to move up to Bond Street and Charles Street. And there, my husband decided to go into the local tune. He was the first man in Jamaica that put out a local tune. And that was the first tune was Penny Reel. The second one was with Larry Akins. And at that time, you did have Federal, Miss Curry and Mr. Curry. And then he would take them down there and press the tunes. Well, it made an it. And so he decided to go into the pressing. He then get Derek Morgan. Derek Morgan had a very nice voice up to now. And he sang for him in the shop. Duke said to him, Boy, you come to sing tune, sing it. And he had to sing it before the crowd. And it was a real good hit. Well, he, um, 
decide to get other artists such as Stranger Cole. You have um, Halton Ellis and his sister. You have um, the Paragons. You have Justin Hines. You have um, Jamaicans. Yeah, I have um, um, the, the Jamaicans. Also, other tunes that I really don't remember. You see? Um. This is great. Um, Duke was uh, in in the, when you, Duke was in the police force. I he, he was a very good shot. Yeah. I remember you once told me. Tell yeah. us a bit about his um, because he was famous for his guns. Yes. Could you tell us a bit about that? Well, he was a marksman in the force, and he loved to use his gun regular to practice, but not to kill. And so, they love him from in the force. And he was such a loving man that the government gave him um, justice of the peace, you see. And he um, dedicated himself to his followers, and they also. He was such a nice man that whenever he had, he had to put out six bucks. One of the box was Duke Reed, one was Trojan, one was Treasure Hiles, and one was also, also, also Joy. And he had two to play in the country and four in town. Who were the... Um Operators. Yep, you have a boy by the name of um, um, uh, uh, this boy here, Shorty. Uh, one by the name of Shorty, one by the name of Cottons, one by the name of um, Buru. Um, Buru and Sonny. That was the four special sound. Well, the other two is Duke Reed, you know, but those are the special sound that play in Kingston. Uh, Duke was such a nice man that whenever a dance promoter come to him, they don't have the money but he sponsor everything and him give them the liquor, everything, and reduct it, you see? So he was a loving man to the people in the area. Uh, well, he, um, during the time uh, when him have the sound, he went into this block making business and the block making business wasn't doing well. He had to resign from it, come back into the store and build the studio. You see, well, he built the studio and he had the time Goodall was one of the um, Good, good, good. All was one of the engineer for him. Um, you have um, good hall. You had Brown. That was one of the engineer. Wait for the uh, plane to go over. Yeah, Brady. yeah. Um, Byron Smith as well. Yeah, yeah Byron Smith was okay. one. Can I take this from you? Because I can hear the paper on the microphone. Oh, yeah. That's all right. Perhaps Mrs. Reed's like... Um, oh, notes? Yeah. 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 Oh, all right. That's all I can hear the microphone. Because it looks just like a letter, so, you know, it doesn't look too... Yeah. All right. Can I continue? Yes. 
Yes, you have um, Aiton. He was one of his um, operators. And um, you have Aiton. You have um, Lloyd. Nibs was one of his um, base. Bass, um, bass player, I mean drummer. Nice, yeah. he was one of his drummer. Select his men, such as Ernest Wranglings, such as um, Baba Brooks, BC, they call him BC. You have Tommy McCook, you have Lloyd Nibs. Those are the people who paid for my husband. And in the early days, you have um, Derek Ariat. Derek Ariat sing for my husband in the early days. You have um, Derek Ariat. Derek Ariat sing for my husband in the early days. And you have um, you have uh, I remember <laughs> right now. You have a uh, Willie. Let's call him Willie. Willie White. And some others that I don't remember. Okay. Um, what about the time? There's a fa very famous photograph that was used on an LP jacket yeah, yeah. with um, Duke and Fats Domino and you, yeah? Yes. Tell us about that time. Um, they did have a, a dance at King's Lawn, I think, and they get down Fats Domino to sing at the time and that was a wonderful night and Fats was so delighted to be there yes, yes. was it a big crowd oh big crowd now when Duke number one set play at Foresters Hall or even Jubilee that was a wonderful night. You see, sometimes they have competition. And the best man is always Duke. The crown Duke is Duke Reed, the Trojan. Yes. And they have another one, and they, they get a trophy. Yes. Now, in England, um, this um, this Gaptil, I think, what is his name? Gaptil, yeah. I thought um, he, um, my husband said to him, well, you know, you must do away with this name that you have here. And him tell him to put in Trojan, the right. So it's my husband who give that name to Gaptil, I think the name, I know. Yes, yes. Um, what kind of clothes did ladies wear? Ladies? I mean, um, when you went to the dance, what just, kind of clothes? Just, just ordinary dress, you know. Yeah? Yes, just so ordinary dress. They are like all to be dressed up and looking nice. Could you tell us something about that? In those days? <laughs> in those days, you have plenty dance followers, and they're always looking nice and happy to be there. And they always wait for me. Whenever I don't go to dance, some of them don't go, because, you know, I have my followers away from my husband, you see. That's so you had a label called Duchess? Yes. For he was a Duke, and you say you must be the Duchess? Yes, that's right. Um, you want to take a break now? Right. Yeah, I can, yes. 
milk died in 76. He died 76. But before he died, he wanted to give the business. So, um, it's my not to remember. 76. He died 76. But before he died, he wanted to give the business. So, um, it's my not to can't remember. When I mean, he decided to give the business to, just can't remember his name. Anyway, Miss Pottinger take it over. Miss Pottinger supposed to give me $2,000 a month. She rent the studio for $200 a month. And she, no, my husband had went in bankruptcy. And through my husband went in bankruptcy, most of the artists, you see, had to go to different promoters. But most of them don't talk of the good that they had with Duke. Anyway, Miss Pottinger, she take over the business and she signed for the equipment. She don't sign for the catalog, only the equipment. And then she paid me two months money after the death of my husband. And then I had a hard time was to get the rest from her. Anyway, I had to get a lawyer to write her, and she started to pay me again. Now, she never gave me any notice that she was leaving the premises. She removed and she take all of my catalog. I then asked her for them and she refused to give me them, you see. Anyway, true, I really don't understand much about the business. I just keep on that way. When she wanted me to sign a paper, because she said when she go to different place, she can't get any money because of the catalog they say it's not hers. Well, I decided not to sign it. I went to my lawyer, and the lawyer said, um, and she was there also because there was a meeting that evening, and she said, my husband give her the tune. <laughs> my husband lease her the tune. Well, the, the, the lawyer said, well, Miss Reed has the right of everything. I am the one who write up the agreement, and I know Duke can write in, and I know my typewriting. Bring the lease paper within seven days to let me see it. And until now, no lease paper. I take her to another lawyer. And I take her to the lawyer. She and Plumber, because the business was really Plumber that work at RJR. But true, she, she um, he couldn't um, carry the business because of his work. So I just put her to take it over. And then he, he was there the day. And 
the lawyer said to her, well, you see, we have the rights of the catalog. And why don't you give her the tunes, the tapes? She said before I give her, I throw them in the sea. And the lawyer said, no, that's not right. Well, what I am going to say to you now is, let us form a company and we will work together in the right way. She agreed. And the lawyer write up the paper and think for her to sign. She said, no. That's it. <coughs> yeah. Kind of early days. Any particular stories about anyone? The what? Funny? Any funny stories you can remember about anyone? No, only that my husband died as a Christian. He was a Christian then. He was a Christian then, and he was a faithful Christian. Get baptized, and he died a faithful Christian. Yes. In the, in the early days, he had a business in New York. In the early days, he had a business in New York. Um, and Duke Reed Enterprise. The first person that put out a local tune in New York was Duke. And he had an office that he put a, a clerk there, but she wasn't doing well. We take up Phyllis, we take up Halton to learn them ska and rock steady. And uh, was trying to get around with some of the people but you know, after this, the girl wasn't doing well. He just decided to lock down the business and stop right there. See? So that was about what, 1967? That, that was in the, yeah, about 66. 66. He was the first man that put out a tune in New York. Yeah. Yeah, that would live nicely with the New York side of it. Mm. You, yeah, but I remember when you gave me that card, that's it, yeah? Huh? I remember when you gave me that business card. Yes, last year, yes. See, which I used in the book. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, just look through the book. <laughs> yeah, just flick through the pages. Keep turning the pages for me, Mrs. We like you just looking through your memory. Yes. I just looking from the fifties and to see how nice it was with all these lovely pictures of myself and friends. 
and also my husband, nephew, and his son. So nice. My husband also with his ten ring on his fingers. <laughs> ten ring on his fingers. Also the bar, the wholesale liquor store, my cousins, all beautiful pictures of friends and relatives. Okay. <coughs> I'm going to take two pages from this side. <coughs> 